today I'm going to do my um, March wrap up. Um, so today's the 29th so I might read some more but I'll only read like half a book. I probably won't finish a book. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm sorry for if the camera shakes a bit, it's standing on a load of books because my tripod broke. I did explain this in my last video but if you didn't see that one, I'm really sorry. My tripod comes tomorrow so there shouldn't be a lot of videos that have this problem but maybe a couple. So yeah. Uh, let's get started with my wrap up. Um, so I started March off with House of Hades by Rick Riordan. Um, I love this book. I get five or five stars. Such a good book. I think this was probably one of my. I think this was probably my favorite in the series. Um, but yeah, I really love this one. I definitely recommend it. But I can't say a lot about it because it's a whole series and this is the fourth book, so I can't really say a lot about it. Uh, next, I went on to the Walking Dead Volume Seven. And uh, I'll put the picture up here. I think it's the calm before. Um, I've been this month. I've done a lot of graphic novel reading. I read like seven to like fourteen, fifteen. I think fifteen now um, of the graphic novels Walking Dead, and I absolutely love them. I really, really enjoy them. I gave this one four out of five stars. So after I read Volume Seven, I had a kind of a Walking Dead binge. Um, so I read from Volume Seven to Volume Eleven all at once. So I will not talk about them all because uh, there's too many I can't talk about individual storylines because of spoilers so just now I gave most of them 4 or 5 stars I gave one of them 5 or 5 stars but I can't remember it but if you really want to know look at my goodreads which will be linked down below so yeah that was those books so after my little walking dead binge I went on to the blood of olympus uh, by Rick Riordan I talked about this in my readerama wrap up as I did a few of these books um, I loved it. I also did a read along with me video which I will link down below. I loved this. It was so good. I can't say much more about it but I really loved it. A lot of people didn't like it so much but I still gave it 5 or 5 stars. Uh, after that I read Walking Dead Volume 12, Life Among Them. Uh, again, not going to say too much about it. And after that I read Curse by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I do have a review of this. This is about a girl who realizes um, um, this is about a girl who dies and her sister brings her back from the dead and uh, after this she she discovers she has the power to kill things with her touch and it's really really good. I really loved it. I think I gave it three stars um, but I have a review which will be linked down below. After that I read another volume of The Walking Dead and that was too far gone. I think that's 14. I've not been counting. Sorry, 13 or 14, not sure. Then I read The Messenger of Fear by Michael Grant. Again, I have a review of this one and I talked about it in my Readerama wrap up, so that will be linked down below. It was really, really good. Um, it was different to what I thought it was going to be, but very, very good. Next, I read another graphic novel and that was Superman Earth 1 Volume 1. And I've never read any Superman or watched any Superman, so it was really good to get into that world. And I have a review which will be linked down below. And next was another Walking Dead graphic novel and this time it was No Way Out. Um, Again, it's the same as before. I think I get I think this is the one I gave five stars. I'm not sure. <laughs> and next was a new adult sci-fi novel, and that was The Vanishing Girl by Laura Tallahassee. Um Tallahassee, whatever, I can't remember what it was. Um I love this book. It was so good. I've got the second book for review, so I'm really, really excited to go on to that one. But I have a review of this one and I'll link it down below. And next I read my my achievement of the month, and that was A Storm of Swords by George R. R. Martin. I know um, in the UK some of it is it's split up into two parts but I read it on my Kindle and I bought it in one part so um, I just read the whole book at once um, which seriously took me like two weeks. <laughs> like I started reading it before the um, reader Rama started and then I continued reading it afterwards and I have just finished it like two days ago. It was really good though. Then I read my last um, graphic novel of the month and that was The Walking Dead uh, We Find Ourselves? Yeah. Uh, that was The Walking Dead We Find Ourselves which was my last one of the month. I think that's 15, maybe 16, not sure. Um, and then I read Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover which I loved and have a review of which I will link down below and also Maybe Not by Colleen Hoover which is a novella companion to that series and I loved it so much love both of them they're so good check them out and also check out the soundtrack because it was so good to listen to the soundtrack along with the book it was so good uh so links to the review down below because i loved loved that book and definitely just read it it was so good probably my favorite book of the month 
I think. <laughs> and I read it the last day of the month. Like, I finished it yesterday and read maybe not, I think I finished maybe not like an hour ago. So this was like the last two books I read of the month and they were my favourites. So yeah, that was my March wrap up and I will see you next time. Goodbye.